Amy loved children, she loved young people. We know that she took somebody who was homeless in herself, so she understood about homelessness. And of course, um, the struggle that she had with drugs, which ultimately she overcame, unfortunately not with alcohol. We knew that we, we know that we have to try and help people in that situation as well. So it's not an enormous leap for us to figure out where we've got to go. Other people would have to judge the achievements. We don't regard it as achievements. You know, frankly, we think it's our moral obligation to do what we're doing. Well, I think this and more, there's a lot of things of how caring she was. That's what it's about. It wasn't about her. She was always everyone else. And that is what it is. So, her caring. Well, I'm here tonight. Um, I'm going to perform. Um, I feel honoured to be here. Um, Obviously, you know, it's um, only been like a, a year and a half since I've passed and, you know, it's still very difficult for me. But to see stuff like this, you know, um, what the foundation's doing, the positive effect it's having on, you know, young children, educating them about alcohol and drugs, and, and just how they're helping people in general, I think it helps, it helps me deal with the grief, you know, to know that something really positive is happening. And I know that Amy would just be so proud of Mitch and so proud of the family for, you know, carrying on her legacy and doing something for kids, you know, she loved kids.